Hey everyone and welcome. Well, seeing as how I'm demonetized and I'm already in the book, bad books when it comes to YouTube. If you want to help out the channel, you can do. There's links in the description. <laughs> Shameless plug. I thought I'd bring you something that seems to be getting, I don't know, silenced a little bit. And it's one of our favourites. Whether you like her all the time or not is irrelevant. You can disagree on our side. Doesn't matter too much. But I think this lady has done wonders for our side. Now, I think it's a bit rubbish that we're still trundling her out at her age. But when she opens her mouth, she says pretty much what everyone wants to hear, doesn't she? And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Now, I wonder if you can guess who I'm talking about. Well, this was Reform UK, and it's Anne Widdicombe, the battle axe herself. <laughs> no offence intended there, Anne. And she's done a speech at the NEC Birmingham, and the full speech has been banned on a few different platforms so far, so we'll see how we go. <laughs> <laughs> but this is political, and I'll fight it all the way. This should be heard by everyone, whether you agree or not. Now, it is quite long, but I'm going to play it in its entirety for you. Let me know what you think at the end. Have a listen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Now then, I'm going to ask you a simple question. We're going to win, aren't we? That's right. And that sort of level of energy and enthusiasm is what we have got to keep up for the next four days. Now, I'd actually expand on that. I know I'm star sorry, I'm caught in, but it is at the beginning. I'd expand on that and say for the next four days and four years. Because we all know Labour are going to get in by default. And after four years of Labour, I guarantee the nation will be looking for something else. <laughs> right up until one minute to ten on Thursday. One minute past is too late. So whatever you do, please, for the next four days, tell everybody you see what reform stands for. And we stand for two words above all, common sense. Where is the common sense in the Tories saying that we haven't got enough doctors and then operating a cap on the number of doctors in training and not even raising that cap until they were at the very gates of the general election. Where is the sense in that? Where on earth is the sense in putting all the eggs in the Rwanda basket and never having a plan B while boat after boat arrived on our shores on an almost daily basis. Where was the sense in no plan B? Where is the sense in teaching children that there are 142 genders when they're only ever going to meet two of them? of turning our education system into one which teaches children what to think instead of teaching them how to think. Where is the sense in having a system of... Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Did you see that? Why have they got the bus in the conference hall? What's that all about? Who are these on the top? What did that? Why did they get to sit up there above the crowd? Everyone else is like craning the net. Look at this lady here. <laughs> well, that's a strange one, isn't it? Look at me, boss. Everybody, look at me, boss. We got fancy people on the top. <laughs> what a weird thing. <laughs> anyway, I'll carry on. Where is the sense in having a system of student debt? that is so onerous that 80% of students never repay their debt. Where is the sense in that? <laughs> and 
And where is the sense? Where, oh, where is the sense in talking about encouraging people into work and then operating the most penal tax system that we have seen this century? Where is the sense in saying that we want to encourage jobs and business and foreign investment in Britain and then running a tax system which drives people to the Irish Republic instead? Where is the sense in that? And that's just the Tories. Where is the sense in having a Prime Minister, as we will in four days' time, who doesn't action... who doesn't actually know what a woman is? Where is the sense in electing as Prime Minister a man who never has a policy for more than five minutes before he changes it. And as for the Lib Dems, water shoots, slides. If that is the future leader of Britain, then all I can say is heaven help us. So, there is but one party, and that party is reform. And we... And we will bring common sense back to Britain. We will bring back a pride in our country. We will... That is what reform will do. So let's look at the doctors. When, we, when the Tories say we haven't got enough of them, but don't do anything about it, we will actually say that if they stay in the NHS for 10 years after qualifying, we will remit the whole of their student tuition fees. Because common sense says that if you want to encourage a particular pattern of behaviour, then you produce an incentive to do it, not a disincentive to do it. And will we, bring, we will bring common sense back to our immigration system. We will have not merely a plan A, which is to stop the boats as they enter our waters. But we will have a plan B because some of those boats will still get through and we're honest enough to admit it. So what are we going to do? We're going to house all new asylum seekers in secure reception centres, not in hotels. where on earth is the sense of housing them in hotels all over the country from which they are free to come and go at will and to disappear at the point when they believe their claim is going to be refused. So we will bring common sense to the immigration system. We'll bring common sense to the tax system. We'll make it pay to work and we'll be certain that we have a £20,000 threshold and that people... <laughs> and that people will not be paying tax when all they are earning is a very, very modest income on which they struggle to survive. Now, that is common sense.
but it won't only be common sense which we bring to this country. And by the way, the first thing that we would do, the very first thing that we would do, that we do not actually need any very complicated parliamentary processes to do, is to get rid of woke. Day celebrations. Maybe if he had stayed, he might have learned that those young men gave their lives in order that we could have freedom, liberty. In order that we may say what we think and not have to censor ourselves because we're afraid of losing jobs or afraid of being reported. A free Britain, a common sense Britain, that is what beckons. And you know on Thursday when it might be just a little bit optimistic to think that we can form the government, but there's no reason why we shouldn't form the opposition. And oh, what an opposition that will be. So I'm very shortly going off to Dover. Uh, to support our excellent candidate, Howard Cox. Uh, and I should be going there fairly soon. But before that, I just want to say this to you. Thank you for all that you have done. But even more important, thank you for all you're going to do. Because these next four days are crucial. I spent 55 years in the Conservative Party, and I've heard more sense in the last five years than I did in all those 55. First from the Brexit Party and now from Reform. And I would just like to pay tribute to the work that has been done in getting us from naught to where we are now. Pay tribute to both Richard Tice and Nigel Farage for making that possible. So remember, over the next four days, freedom, common sense, determination, pride in our country. That's what reform is and that's why we deserve to fill up Westminster. Now I don't see anything in that that would warrant censorship by the social media platforms, do you? So I thought I'd bring it to you because obviously I'm already in the bad books. I can't be more in the bad books. Well, I probably could. They could probably ban me altogether, but... Temp fate. <laughs> we'll see how this one goes. But let me know what you think, though. I'd like to know your opinion on what she said. If you haven't subscribed already, why not? It's free content and it's free to subscribe. It does help me out. Stay sane, everyone. I'll see you on the next one.